Thanks, Ted. Uh, yeah, my name's Howard Knopf. Uh, I came to Ottawa in 1983, uh, so despite my youthful appearance, I have been around for a while. And uh, I, I worked in the federal government on copyright law revision back then, and have been here ever since. I uh, went into private practice in 1995. I've been with Nasser and Terzina for the last 18 years. It's an IT boutique. We're now in the same building as Ted. And, uh, uh, I was an advisor to the Law Commission of Canada on Security Interests and Intellectual Property. We published an important book and did some, I've done some adjunct teaching and uh, lots of lecturing and writing. In government, I was very involved with copyright law revision international relations, but the highlight of my time in government was the last few years when I, I was tasked with, the, with uh, managing a project on the IP litigation system, and uh, I went out and hired uh, a fellow by the name of Gordon F. Henderson, who you all have heard of, and we're in his shadow, and he's hopefully looking down on us now, uh, to work for me, if you can imagine. He was working for me. And we worked together, and we produced a very influential report, much of which has come into being, and we produced, in fact, a, 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 a model for the an intellectual property tribunal that almost uh, came into being, but was defeated in the Senate due to a fluke of of crazy political reasons in the 1993 election and Gordon's uh, un untimely passing. But he was a great mentor uh, to me and, uh, and, of course, to many of us. And the, the, the best lesson he taught me, the one I'll always remember, is the most you can ever hope to achieve professionally as a lawyer is just to, to nudge the law a little bit in the right direction. We're never all going to change it, you know, just nudge it a little bit the right way, like a huge ocean line. And um, I tried to do that. And, and another lesson that he taught me was it doesn't really matter whether you win or lose an important case. The important thing is to be there somehow. And I've taken that to heart. I've intervened a few times in the Supreme Court and uh, batting a thousand on the outcomes, but only, 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 uh, only uh, uh, one in three on getting paid. So I appreciate <laughs> pro bono work and may the re David Scott rest in peace for all the work he did on that. It's very important that we do that. So I'm trying to nudge the LSO, which is probably going to be a lot harder than nudging Parliament and the Supreme Court of Canada, but I'm going to give it a try if they'll let me. Uh, in terms of uh, what, what the issues facing the LSO, uh, remember what your real estate agent always tells you. In the case of the LSO, it's access, access, and access. I think we can pretty much agree on that. The rule of law is under threat at the highest levels, but it's also under threat you know, uh, on the street, ordinary people have an awful lot of trouble now getting access to justice for issues that are very important to them but somehow don't get handled by the system. Uh, part of the problem is cost. Others have alluded to it. I, I posted some uh, tweets today about this and it'll be on my, my material soon. Cost $2,500 a year, including HST, to belong to the Law Society of, uh, of Ontario. Um, it, it, believe it or not, in New York State, which is a rather important jurisdiction, I think we would all agree, it's 250 Canadian dollars a year and no tax, okay? And a little, it's more in California and Illinois, but it's still about a quarter of the price of, of, of Ontario. Quebec, uh, as far as I can tell, is about half the price of Ontario. Now, so it's $5,000 a year with insurance to open the door here. That's a lot of money, especially for a sole practitioner and small firm. And it's an access to justice issue because it keeps good people out of the profession and it keeps clients, it pushes prices up for clients who can't afford big fees. Um, and it makes it hard for lawyers who want to retire to just help out a little bit. One minute. One minute. Okay. Uh, law school costs $38,000 now at U of T. The professors are making more than $220,000. That's a problem. Uh, what will I do to, uh, to, to learn from you and to, to, to help our profession? I'll keep two-way communications with social media. Uh, I'll ensure that, uh, try to ensure that the Law Society litigates the right cases and doesn't litigate the wrong cases, such as against Joseph Roya. As far as the uh, statement of principles go, I may be the only person who's going to say, I have an open mind, I have not decided. I did a couple of tweets today about some very good material, contrasting material from two outstanding law professors, one is Alice Woolley, who is now judge, and the other is uh, Art Cofield at Kingston. I urge you to read the, those things and be informed and to keep an open mind. It's obviously an important issue to everybody, and I have an open mind about it. Thank you. Thank you.